boys and girls of 6A, I am going to introduce you to my father, Colin. He turned 80 in the school holidays, 80 years old. And I was looking at our unit of work that Miss Doody sent me, and it's all about a book called My Place that covers 200 years of a house and the families that live in the house and how much things change. And, you know, I know you all know what history is, um, but I know also that you guys are pretty reliant on technology and things have changed very much since the days that Dad was born. So I want him to tell you a little bit about what life was like for him when he was a kid. So, Father dear, what year were you born? Uh, 2nd of July, 1935. 1935. It's now 2015 and so he just turned 80 in the holidays. So what did your mum and dad do for jobs? Uh, my dad worked on the railway as a fettler replacing the sleepers underneath and the railway lines on the track going to Adelaide. And uh, we only lived uh, about half a kilometre from the, where he lived with a baseman at Silverton. He used to walk to work in the mornings. They'd get on a little trike and go down along the track, repair the railway track. Did you have a car, your family? Uh, very, very short time. He had a Ford T, a T model Ford, but not for very long. And that disappeared and he never ever had a car. He couldn't drive a car. Oh. And did your mum have a job? No, women didn't work in those days, did they? They worked. They were, they were housewives. That was it. So she looked yeah, after the just, house. Well, they had plenty of work to do, didn't they? There's no washing machines. They had to do all the washing in a, a big tub. Mum used to heat a, a big boiler up and put all the clothes in the hot, hot boiling water, and put a stick in and stir them all around, then hang them on the line. A stick. And you'd have to keep putting water underneath the, the copper, to uh, keep to keep the water boiling. Oh, so there was a fire underneath yeah. the big copper pot and yeah. she used to have to stir yeah, it. Right. What about soap powder? Uh, yeah, she used to have bars of soap. There was no powder. Oh, yeah. so you'd put a bar of soap? Yeah, yeah, in the, in the water, yeah. A whole? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And what about cooking then? She didn't have a stove? No, no. Cook, cook wood, wood stove. And she had a big cast iron pot when we had a roast. She'd put the roast in this big cast iron pot with a big handle on it. And all the spuds and pumpkin oil. Oh yeah, nothing fancy. <laughs> Gee, and you said she had to grow the veggies herself. Oh yeah, we had we had a garden inside the house, a good garden. Yeah, yeah. The old man used to, and he, all the soapy water that he used to put it on the, on the garden. We'd have ca cabbages and carrots and tomatoes and things like that. Recycling, see? Yeah, yeah. He used to use and, the, the washing machine well, right. water on the garden. Yeah, that's right. Because you were and, out in the bush, weren't oh, you? Oh yeah, there wasn't much water around. A little town called Silverton. Only rainwater tank for water. And yeah. no supermarket either. No, no, no such thing. There's no any, such thing. No. They, they have to go into Broken Hill, which is uh, 18 miles away, to get the uh, get food. So you yeah. travel 18 miles to the nearest town to get yeah. food. Yeah, that's right. How often then did you go shopping? Well, there's always someone going into town or going past, you know. And they'd pop, it, pop in and write a little note out what you want, get a bit of steak or... You know? So yeah. there was a lot more friendship. And mostly tin stuff. You had tin tins. Yeah, because that know? keeps. Which my, my brother-in-law in Broken Hill still use, Reuben Rex in Broken Hill, they still use tin stuff. Tin carrots, tin peas. Oh, you know, no. They're horrible. Oh, compared yeah, I think with they the taste horrible. Yeah, but you could keep them, see? Yeah. You could keep them for weeks and weeks and weeks. Because you didn't have a refrigerator either, did she? Oh, uh, well, we had one, but they didn't work. They didn't work. And water, they, we used to have a cooler. And the, What's a cooler? Well, None, we all, don't know. All, all around the sides is just sort of hessian. And then on, on top was a sort of a little tank with holes in it. And the water would drip down along the side of those, the hessian. A little breeze goes through it, keep, keep oh. it reasonably cool. So you know? would put things inside a wet cupboard kind yes, of thing? Yeah, that's right. A that's wet exactly cupboard right. to keep your food new. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So what about milk? Did you have a cow? We had a cow. Oh my God, he had a cow! We, we had a beautiful white cow called Snowball. Oh, Dad, that's beautiful. <laughs> anyway, Snowball would come home every night for a feed of chaff, and Mum, uh, Dad would milk her. Come then Mum, home. Mum would boil the milk up and get the cream off the top of the milk. So did she make her own butter as well? No, I don't remember making butter, no. But she, we used to have cream off the top of the milk. When you boil it up on the stove to sterilise it, there's cream, get a skim skim of cream on the top. Oh boy, and oh we boy. Had Kwong Dong, we had a Kwong Dong tree, 
They're yucky little things. They're beautiful, yeah. <laughs> Hong Kong <laughs> pies. <laughs> okay, what about the mailman? Did the mailman come to the house? No. No. So how did you get your letters from other people? Yeah, you had to go to the post office to get your own mail and walk out, walk down and walk back. Oh. And that's where you rang up. If you wanted to ring up Broken Hill, you had to ring up from the post office. Oh, and the red okay. box out the front. Oh, yeah. So there weren't telephones no. in everyone's house. Oh, no, no, no. Except maybe rich people. Well, we, we, didn't, get, we didn't get the telephone until about 1963. <gasps> 1963 yeah. is when you got the telephone. And we got married. Okay. And I got your mother. Your mother and I got married. So no television. No, not everyone had the telephone. So. And no television either, so hey? Nothing broken ill. Oh, no. No, we, we, had a, we had a wireless. And they had batteries, dry batteries. So wireless yeah. is your name for radio, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. See, so kids, yeah. even some wireless. things are called different yeah. names. He yeah. calls it a wireless. We call it a radio. Um, what else was I going to ask? What about... I know you told me, I thought that was a hilarious story, that your your mum used to let the geckos come in the house to eat yeah. the flies because there was no fly spray. Yeah, that's right. Well, it wasn't a real flash house. Our, our house was built in 1898 or something. The one at Silverton. 1898. Yeah. The book in the story yeah, was when the, the, the house when the, mining, when the mining boom was on. So it wasn't a real flash. And uh, the geckos had come in and they'd, they'd crawl around the ceiling. Sam, feel free to change the camera angle. Yeah. And they'd eat the flies. Very, we used to all sit there looking up at them like that. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of entertainment. Well, if you've got the, no TV, you can watch the down. geckos catching the flies yeah, on the, the roof. Flies down there. Okay, what about, did you have pets? Yes. Always had dogs, cats and birds. Because the, the birds lived in the creek, didn't they? Yeah. No trouble. Every September you could go down and get the, get the little ones out of the nest. Steal baby birds? Oh, yeah. From the tree? Yeah. Down the creek at Silverton, they're hollow logs. And apparently they say, you know, the, the white cockies and galahs eat, eat things, munch into things. Well, a bloke told me, he said, those, those limbs have to have to get a hollow log. They ring bark it. They eat it around, ring bark it like that. And eventually it dies. And that's a place for, to build a nest or to live in to, to, for the little ones to, to Animal, lay their eggs. Yeah. Animals are very clever, oh, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. They adapt their yeah, environment right. to suit that, them, they have they did to. It. They ring barked them and eventually die and become hollow, wouldn't it? And Dad, did you have Aboriginal children go into the same school as you in Silverton? Yes, most did. They were good friends of mine. We used to play together with the Aboriginal children. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah. And did they live in normal houses like you too? Yes, yeah. Yeah. A little bit more primitive, but uh, you know. But most of their husbands worked on the cattle stations. They had to work up in the bush on the cattle stations. Um, and the ladies and the, and the children would live in Silverton and go to school there. Yeah, that was okay. We had no trouble. And so what are the main things you think have changed about the world? We can't talk for more than about no, 10 modern minutes. technology, naturally. Yeah. Yeah, well, kids have got who, computers. Who would have, who would have thought 80 years ago, or, or, you know, that you've got to be sitting up in the lounge room watching, watching the tennis over in England, you know? Yeah, that's, it's opened up. The, it's made the oh, yeah. world a smaller place, hasn't it? No. They'd reckon you was mad, you know, if you, you told them things like that. But there was a comics for the kids, and uh, one there, bloke, they, they used to call this bloke Buck Rogers, and he used to, he reckoned he used to go up into the sky in rockets and all sorts of things, didn't he? Yeah, so it was imagination. And everyone laughed, you know? Everyone thought it was just yeah, a game and imagination. They thought, they thought it was a joke, you know? But no one could, he, he could foresee that what, what was going to happen. About men going to the moon and all that. Yeah, they, say, just laugh. they say if you can dream something up, you can make it possible. Yes. So anything else, Dad? Do you reckon we need to tell the kids when they're thinking about history and how the world has changed? Mm, we're very, very fortunate these days, aren't we? You know. That's right. You're you go, lucky. You can go to the go to the fridge, and the food falls out the fridge. You know, there's there's ice cream and chocolates and lollies and you know. Did you? Have Okay, little interruption to the video. Okay, so Dad was talking about food. So we've talked about the fact your mum, you know, had a garden yes. where she cooked, where she grew her vegetables and stuff. What about what about you know other food, meat and no, stuff? We always had chooks. We always had fowls, and that's how you got eggs, didn't you? And did you kill your chickens and eat them? See? Did you kill them and eat them? Yeah. Oh no, not no. You don't kill them because they laid eggs. Yeah. At Christmas time, we might we might have a a chook, you know, and uh, 
but near, you didn't kill them. Otherwise, they weren't going to get any your eggs, would you? Like I said, we had a cow. We milked the cow. So we had milk. We had eggs. And, uh, veggies. Veggies. Fruit. And, uh, fruit. Fruit. Fish, yeah. We always got plenty of fish, you know. The, 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 you the, the dicey one was getting meat, you know, because you couldn't keep it. So you had to be get, trying to get meat, meat every few days, you know. Yeah. So, uh, so did you go hunting? Because you had yeah, guns. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we used to go bush and shoot wild ducks. Wild ducks and rabbits. Kangaroos? Well, you, you, yeah, no, we never had much kangaroo. No, no, no. But the uh, rabbits were nice. You could have a roast rabbit. Snakes? Snakes? No, no. <laughs> no. no eating snakes. No, no, snakes. <coughs> okay. Yeah, so so, we so said, you did okay. Yeah. So if everybody, if somebody had, uh, one of your neighbours had too much or something, they'd, they'd give you some of those and you returned with some of yours, you know, gave them some of yours. Mm. I think had, people would have been much more the mandarins, the mandarins come right, there'd be plenty of mandarins and people would share. Them to your friends, yeah. That's lovely. Simple, simple as that. Yeah, if that doesn't happen in a modern day and age, no, people right. don't share stuff no, like they right. used to. They want, they want to sell it. But you were also in a very little town. Yes, oh yes, yeah. Yeah, that made a bit of difference, yeah. Okay, so no car, no phone, no TV, grow your own food. No oven. You had you had gas or kerosene for the oven. Kerosene, yeah, for the oven. No, no, no. No, just a fire. Just a wood fire. A wood, a wood, a wood fire. fire. Yeah, yeah. Wow. A wood fire. Yeah. Oh, what about school? Was school good? The school. Yeah. Was school good? Did you enjoy going to school? Did you oh, walk? Oh, yeah, you yeah. had to walk to school. Yeah, that's right. Wasn't far. Just over the road along. Probably about five hundred meters. That's all. To school. Yeah. Yeah. And some kids had bicycles. Mm, not many, not many, no, a few. So yeah. most people walked to Walk, school? Or some came on horses. Some <laughs> rode horses, that is so cool. Yeah, because their fathers had properties very close to, to the school, you know. Yeah. Mm. I reckon, do you reckon we've covered it? I reckon that's pretty good. Yeah. And what about haircuts? Did your mum cut your hair? Yes. Put the basin over your head and cut up, cut up to the edge of the basin. Wow, so that's true. <laughs> oh, no. That's right, yeah. Well, everyone, okay. had, everyone had hand clippers. And uh, when, I got, when I was about 14 or 15, I used to do all the kids, the kids who come to my place, our place, and I used to cut the hair. I didn't know that. You never cut oh. our hair. <laughs> no. Uh, one, one little German. It's baffling and it's mind-boggling how much the world has changed. One German, one German kid used to come over and he said, I want, I want the crew cut. <laughs> I said, you better ask your mother first. <laughs> he said, no, it'd be okay. Yeah. And did you remember the war, Dad? Because when yeah, you were a little yeah. boy, the war happened. The Second yeah. World War. Yeah. Yes, I remember, yeah. I was, I was so only, did it change we your were, life? We were, we were, everyone was frightened that the Japs were going to come to Australia. The Japanese, yeah. So there was lots of fear, but there was nothing... It didn't yeah. change your life, no, or no, did no. you...? No, well, only when my brother got killed. But, uh, and how many? Yeah. Your three of your brothers went to war, didn't they? Alan yeah. and Tiny and Raymond. No, not Tiny. Alan, Alan and Ray. Alan and oh, Tiny so, didn't go. No. So two brothers yeah. went to war, and only one brother came home. One was killed. Yeah, that's right. Mm. So that would have made. Yeah, well, I think I think things were a lot scarcer when the war was on. Food was a lot scarcer. Yeah, because they used to send it to the soldiers, didn't they? A lot of the soldiers were the workforce. The women, I think, a lot of the women worked. Worked in the uh, the uh, munition factory in Broken Hill, making making bullets and things like that. Oh, I didn't know they there was. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, so they made the ammunition in Broken it, Hill in my little they hometown. They call it the technical college, yeah. Out in the they bush. Worked there, they worked there, making all stuff for the war, wow. working on lathes and all sorts of things, making stuff. Oh yeah. Okay, so yeah, so okay, Dad, you you would hardly. Oh. I, I don't know how to put it into a sentence. What you have seen over 80 years from when you were a little boy to how you're living now. Oh, yeah, it's just incredible. It's just incredible, incredible. Yeah. yeah. I wonder, do you think the world can change that much in another 100 years? God knows what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I read something once. It's got to stop it, eventually, doesn't it? I read something once and it said, today teachers are teaching children for a future we don't even know what it's going to be. Yeah, we don't right. even know what jobs will exist. There might be completely new jobs because certainly lots of the old jobs, like labouring jobs, like dad worked underground in the mines, a lot of those jobs now are being done by machines. 
They, so, might, they might have robot school teachers. That's right. By the time you guys, you know, have grow up and have your own kids, there might be robots standing in front of the class doing Google lessons. With a, with a computer on the head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Dad, for talking to the class. Yes. Say hello, goodbye to 6A. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, Dad.